In this section, we will discuss the alarm indication circuits of the diesel locomotives used in case of the following faults. Wheel slip, earth fault, hot engine, low water, low loop oil pressure, cranking contactor tip welding, overload, crankcase exhaustor motor failure. We will now discuss these circuits one by one. Wheel slip is detected by comparing the armature voltage of the traction motors by connecting coils of the wheel slip relays through interlocks of corresponding power contactors as shown in the power circuit. When wheel slip is detected, the following takes place. A. Reduction of excitation B. Sanding and C. Audio-visual alarm We will now discuss the concerned circuits one by one. Whenever any WSR operates, the interlocks of that WSR completes the circuit of wheel slip windings of the PWM reactor which reduces the pulse width of the EFT transistor and thereby the excitation level. The current from cable number 50 flows to WR10, PWM, XD17, the concerned WSR interlock cable 10T, WR9 and completes the path with cable number 4. The sanding valve in the forward and reverse direction gets energized automatically through cable number 13 and via the interlocks of the concerned WSR Cable 64, reverser interlock in the forward or reverse direction and Cable 64A. On energization, sanding valves blow pressurized air into the sand tank resulting in the flow of sand on the track. Wheel slip is indicated in the driver's cabin by the glowing of wheel slip LED indication on the indication panel and the ringing of wheel slip buzzer. In case of LED indication, the current in cable number 13 flows through the interlocks of concerned WSR, LED and completes its path with cable number 4. In case of audio alarm, the current flows through the concerned WSR interlock, cable number 10, wheel slip buzzer and completes its path with cable number 4. We will now discuss the alarm indication circuit in case of earth fault by reference to the power circuit and the propulsion control circuit. The ground or the earth fault is sensed by GR connected through ground relay cutout switch or the GRCO. The GRCO is provided to isolate the ground relay. In event of the earth fault, the following occurs. In case of locomotives fitted with WW governor, the diesel engine is brought to idle speed by opening the GR interlock resulting in de-energization of ERR. In case of locomotives fitted with EDC governor, 
GR interlock closes via interlocks of 31D4 GF contactor drops due to the opening of GR interlocks resulting in withdrawal of power. The LED indication will come in the driver's cabin. The current flows through the GR interlock, LED and completes the path with cable number 4. The current flows through the CPR, cable number 37, energizes the signal relay and completes the path with cable number 4. The SR interlock closes and the current from cable number 13 flows through the SR interlock, cable number 2 and energizes the alarm bell and completes the path with cable number 4. In case of DC-DC locomotives, during LB ground fault, the current flows through GCC, GRCO, cable 36B, GR coil and is earthed. In case of AC-DC locomotives, the earth fault in the control circuit is sensed only during cranking by the ground relay GR2. The current flows through normally open CKR1 interlock 4444J, close interlock GRCO2, coil of GR2 and is earthed. Contact of GR2 opens the main contacts of CK1, CK2 and CK3 open. Cranking is disabled due to the opening of GR interlock. The LED indication will come in the driver's cabin. The current flows through the GR interlock. LED and completes its path with cable number 4. In case of the audio alarm, the current flows through the CPR, cable number 37 and energizes the single relay SR and completes its path with cable number 4. The SR interlock closes and the current from cable number 13 flows through the SR interlock, cable number 2, energizes the alarm bell and completes the path with cable number 4. The temperature of diesel engine is sensed by the sensor, engine temperature switch or the ETS in the water pipeline. When the temperature reaches 64 degrees centigrade, ETS1 closes and the R1 coil is energized. Interlock of R1 closes. The current flows through cable number 72A, TCR, cable number 72 and energizes the ECC coil. Voltage of the circuit drops and the radiator fan runs at very low speed. When the temperature reaches 68 degrees centigrade, ETS2 closes and the R2 coil is energized, interlock of R2 closes. The current takes a direct path through cable number 72, ECC coil and completes its path with cable number 4. This results in the running of the radiator fan at high speed 
due to full voltage given to the ECC coil. When the water temperature reaches 90 degrees centigrade, the ETS3 closes resulting in alarm and LED indication in the driver's cabin in the engine start condition. In case of LED indication, the current from cable number 71 flows through ETS3, 16L, LED and completes its path with cable number 4. In case of the audio alarm, the current flows through the CPR, cable number 37 energizing the signal relay SR and completes the path with cable number 4. The SR interlock closes and the current from cable number 13 flows through the SR interlock cable number 2 and energizes the alarm bell, completing the path with cable number 4.